Hello everyone and welcome to new guide. In this one I'm going to talk about PvE Enhancement Shaman as I mentioned earlier. So without further ado, let's jump in. So as before we are going to start on with talents. So uh, in the first row best combination is Lightning Shield plus Forceful Winds because they generate a lot of Millstorm and they deal quite decent amount of damage. Third one is optional, but mostly I like to use Spirit Wolf because there are some da danger situations that you're going to have to run or to get some damage reduced, so Spirit Wolf is best in that option. In the fourth one, Hailstorm is best as in previous patch, uh, at the end of the fight it will deal more damage than Searing Assault, so yeah, just use Hailstorm here. Third one is pretty much optional, I like to choose between Feral Lunge and Windrush Totem. Uh, Feral Lunge is very good to have mobility on some bosses, so if you have to run away to drop some puddle and you can get straight back into him, but uh, some raid bosses require Windrush Totem so you can help your allies, so yeah, you choose between these two. Uh, sixth one is pretty tricky, uh, currently best one for single target is Fury of Air in combination with Memory of Lucy Dream Essence, we, it will just deal more damage than Sundering will, but for Mythic Pluses Sundering is a better option, so for raids and single target use Fury of Air and Sundering for EOE and Mythic Pluses. Uh, last one for raids, the best combination is Ascendance. Uh, because it's just the best burst that one of the best bursts in the game I would say but for sing uh, for mythic pluses is not that good because those fights are not that long so for mythic pluses you will go for elemental spirit so you can use them twice so, or maybe triple if there is the running of affix so yeah that's pretty much about this moving on to stat priority so number one is haste followed by critical strike, followed by versatility, followed by mass. 30% haste is kinda perfect one, so if you are below 30% of haste, you are going to run for haste enchants and haste gems, and on weapons you are going to go for uh, quick navigation in main hand and deadly navigation in off hand, but if you are having a 30% haste, then you should go in main hand for deadly navigation and off hand gale for striking, and for gems and enchants you should go for critical, so as you can see in my case I've got a 30% of haste with gems and enchants so I'm just leaving them but if I get some percent above that I'm gonna swap that for critical. So that's pretty much about the stat priority. So about consumables you're going to use greater flask of endurance, uh, followed by potion of unbridled fury because it's the best one currently in this expansion and for food you're going to use feast if your raid has or if you don't then you're going to use baked potato the one for haste and that's it pretty much about consumables so from stats we are jumping to the essences so for the raids best combination is condensed life force as the major one Breath of the Dying is the first minor, Blood of the Enemy is second minor, and Memory of Lucid Dream is third minor because of Fury of Air. Uh, for the major, you can run World Wave in Resonance, and that is one where you have a static fight, like you're going to stay more than 20 to 30 seconds in one place, then it's good to use. And also, know that you need to have at least 5 players in raid using World Wave in Resonance in order to get the maximum of it. But if you don't, the second best or the first best, whoever you wanna call it, is the condensed life force. And that's a sure one, like with condensed life force you don't need to depend on anyone. So this is essences for raids. So for the mythic plus essences, this is the best combination. In major blood of the enemy, in first minor the formless void, because it affects your allies as well and if you don't have it by any chance then just use Breath of the Dying because you need that 10 corruption resistance. So second minor is Purification Protocol which is very good for EOE targets and in mid pluses everything is mostly EOE and the third one is Conflict and Strive for base versatility. That's it pretty much about the essences. From essences we are moving to traits. 
So about traits, uh, they are same for a PvP and PvE, and they are same for single target and EOE. Uh, basically, it's the best combination that current enhancement shaman can wear, and that is three natural harmonies, one ancestral resonance, one rolling storm, and one thunder and fury. So if you want to pull up the best DPS, you should use that combination. From traits, moving on to corruptions. So for a raid or a single target, the best corruption currently is Infinite Star, rank 3. Unfortunately, I have only rank 2. The second best corruption is Living Tentacle from Raden, and I got two of them. And the third, the uh, best corruption is gushing wounds which I still don't have after like at 3 or 4 months into this patch. The fourth one is uh, mind flay which I got on boots and the bracer and that's it pretty much. Uh, that brings me to 39 total corruption which is fine like you should never go to 40 because you're going to be suiciding yourself with things from beyond and in my case I got the 71 corruption resistance on back plus 10 from the neck essence so I can afford to have this much corrupted items so that's it pretty much for raid for mythic plus corruption best one is rank 3 twilight devastation which I have rank 1 on hands and rank 2 on belt which in total gives me rank 3 followed by one of the rod and weapon plus mind play bracer which are total 29 corruption and it's pretty fine for mythic pluses so that's it for corruptions let's move to the next moving on to trinkets so for the raid and the single target one in my opinion best combination is vita charge titan shield plus cooling black dragon scale uh, cooling black is good because it constantly gives you haste plus some speed and uh, Vita 1 has pretty good effect because it gives you tons of haste and which is your main stat uh, also one of the good trinkets is glacial uh, gale colors boon uh, which i don't really like because there is quite few fights where you have to move a lot and with this trinket you have to stand in one place uh, a lot of people like very much Ashwin Razor Coral, but I don't think it's good as the previous two that I mentioned. And also, one good is a Dread Eye Spyglass because it gives you a lot of critical strike, which is also very good because critical is the second best stuff. So, yeah, you have a few options there. Uh, also, combination with a plus white one of trinkets is pretty decent. But yeah, as I mentioned, the best combination in my opinion is coming Black Dragon Scale plus Vita Charge. For the Mythic Plus slash EOE damage, the best rank is Tormenting Jar, which drops from Xenesh in Ayalota. The reason why it's best for Enhancement Shaman is because it gets triggered to stack uh, by Storm Strike and since Storm Strike is your main and the best ability, it's stuck in it a lot, so it deals tons of damage. I also like to follow it with writing segment of Dressed Agat, which is very good DOE trinket with only 1 minute and 20 seconds cooldown, so you can use it a lot of time in Mythic Pluses and deals pretty good damage on the EOE for ads. So that's the best combination in my opinion for trinkets. Let's move to the rotation. In Enhancement Shaman rotations, you have some spell priority. So the strongest and the most in damage one is Storm Strike, followed by Lava Lash, followed by Rock Biter. Uh, Flame Tongue and First Brand you're always wanna have up because it enchants your weapons and deal quite decent amount of damage. And the last one, you always need to have up Fury Affair. So rotation starts like this. Use one Rock Biter, then use Fury Affair. After that Guardian of Azeroth, plus Feral Spirits, plus Ascendance. So you pump up your Wind Strike as long as you have it. So when it gets on first cooldown, you should use your first brand and pump it up again. Then use your Flame Tongue and you got both weapons enchanted during the fight. So just pump Wind Strike until the end. So next one is Lava Lash because Storm Strike is on cooldown. So don't forget that, for example, 
if you are low on mill storm and uh, like this you have 44 and you want to use lava lash don't use that because you're going to drop your fury of air and you should never drop your fury of air because you're going to have a dps loss there so what you want to do is always keep your mill storm around 50 percent or more and uh, whenever you get off just spam rock biter and mm, never lose the fury of air uh, it's going to be hard in beginning like I remember first 2-3 raids since I started this rotation I was losing Fury of Air like idiot uh, but eventually I learned it and now I never lose it and my DPS is very pumped up like enhanced but can be in top 5 easily in this patch The reason why I don't tension my weapons before I pop Ascendance and start bursting is because you're gonna lose like uh, 3 or 4 seconds there and you don't need to uh, when you pop Ascendance and start spamming Queen Strike, you're, uh, when it gets on cooldown, you're going to have enough time to do one spell without losing any damage. So, while it's on cooldown, you use your Frostbrand first, then followed by Flame Tongue, and you won't lose any damage that way, and the rotation will be pretty much perfect. Also, when fight is getting longer and you're starting to getting your cooldowns back, the best choice is to wait them all back and then to pop it in the same time like in the first round because as you can see Ascendance is 3 minutes, Guardian of Azeroth is 3 minutes and only Feral Spirits are 2 and uh, it won't be very effective if popping first Feral Spirits then after a minute these 2 it's best in combination with all 3 so you should do that in a longer fight. So about mythic plus slash EOE rotation, it's different than the solo target uh, because you're going to apply the crash of lightning every time you can. So at the beginning of rotation use one rock biter, enchant your weapons with frost brand and flame tongue, then use another rock biter, then use crash of light. After you did that use your blood of the enemy followed by your trinket and followed by your sundering and then every time you can uh, refresh the crash of lightning and just pump strong strike and uh, lava lash as long as you have enough millstone for that. Unlike your raid rotation you don't need to care much about millstone because you cannot lose anything such as fury of air so you can just pump it up hard. So by finishing rotation we have come to an end. If you have any questions please leave a comment if you liked the guide and found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next.